Jesus, what have you done to the seat? I know I've got a, a bone to pick with you, as I've said before. My new, new camera, the ZV-1, that I actually wanted. Oh, look. My old Porsche is back. It will tip forward. I've, I've put these things on back to front, haven't I? Um, I need to get more uniforms. I need to work on logos for the new business. Get that rest and relaxation that you need and come back tomorrow focused, rested and ready. On the Panda, sold that. Good morning, it's Monday. It is five to nine. I'm running a bit late actually. Must have relaxed too well over the weekend. I'm in the high mileage 320D, which still needs a really good valet, but uh, time hasn't been on our side. We also haven't got Ethan today. He's away in Benidorm. He will be back, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on how his hangover and jet lag is. Um, so we've got Jordan on valeting and running MOTs, etc. Dan, sales and admin, that sort of thing. I need to pop down the farm today, try and uh, appraise a few cars with this new app that we've got so we can get it into British car auctions, a few different cars just to get rid of. Luke was off yesterday all the way up to Norfolk to on the train to Kings Lynn where he got collected by our customer, a nice chap called Philip. So thank you Philip for selling us your car via Cars Bought For More. Uh, Luke went up there, collected that, drove it back, kept sending me pictures telling me how much he loved the car. Um, it is a very nice Volvo V90 cross country, I believe. Um, so it's, yeah, it looks quite cool inside. It's an automatic, which is right up my street. It's got like a big tablet center thing. Um, I'll try and get Toby to put some shots in of this car, but we'll look at it later anyway. So we need to get that cleaned up and listed. I have a new salesman starting on Wednesday, a chap called Jason, so I'm quite looking forward to him coming, taking some of the pressure off of me. I know on previous videos and things you've been saying, you, you're taking on all the stress, you're too busy, that sort of thing. Yes, I agree with you, but needs must. Jason will be starting, he'll be taking over a lot of my roles, buying, uh, listing cars, things like that, which I've had to do since we haven't had Romas on board. So that's going to free me up because I am going to have to have a lot of spare time free to be able to go to the MT Centre, have meetings there, organise equipment, plan things out, all that bollocks that goes with sorting out a business properly. Anyway, that must be about five hours of me waffling on my way to work, which is only a 20 minute drive. So I'll see you at the garage, we'll see what's going on. Okay, here is our V90. That's a big old car. Quite like it though. So let's see if we can have a look inside. Yeah, see the big tablet type thing and looks pretty cool in there, doesn't it? I imagine it's gonna have absolutely every mod con on it as well. Right, I need to lift this as well. That needs uh, valeting and uh, getting up to sell. Right, just heading down to the local post office because I'm sending the camera back as it isn't really the one that I wanted. I want the one with the zoom lens. So doing that, got to pay some cash in and then get milk and sugar. Jesus, what have you done to the seat? What have you done to the seat? I know I've got a, a bone to pick with you, as I've said before. Yeah. If you, I know you put the steering wheel down so that you can get in there and clean dust and thingies out. Could you put it back up once you've finished? Because I'm a fat boy and my legs don't fit underneath. I get in and I'm just like chopped in half like sausage meat. Like what is the purpose of that? Uh, so you can put like stuff in there and it doesn't, does that stop it? Uh, Strange, isn't it? Or like a seat? Well look, it's got like a bungee across there so you can strap luggage and things to it maybe. Is that meant to be? I guess it's so you can... Mm. Weird, isn't it? Something. Oh look, it's got a gas strut in there. How fancy is that? More places to get dusty. Yeah, there's like a. This is like a. It's like a chocolate box, isn't it? This is layer after layer. We oh, like this. It gives me undercover oh. police. Box. That's nice as well. Let's see if the cars on. 
What else is nice, John? Electric folding rear seats. That is nice. That's good. It, look at that. And it's got this massive tablet -y thing. I quite like the uh, gear knob as well. That's very sort of... I don't like the start. Oh yeah, the start. You were saying about that. You've got like a, a little twisty dial. Strange, isn't it? Nice steering wheel. I bet these seats are comfy AF. It's got a little Swedish flag. It's got a what? A little Swedish flag. Swedish flag, yeah? Anyway, I've had a message from Mick, who we bought the Lime Green SX4 from. I'm hoping that, oh, it's right here. And he's got a key for a lock missing. And his daughter, whose car this was, seems to think oh, that it was in the bag of the locking wheel nut. It does not seem to be in there. It's a shame. I was hoping we'd find that for him and be the heroes, the armrest or whatever. Ooh. Nothing in there. I'll have a quick look in the paperwork file because you never know, it might have been put in there. Look at the state of these weeds out here. I really need to do a good bit of weeding. What I really need is to be sponsored by a tarmacking company who will come out and re-tarmac the whole forecourt because it's all sinking and whatever and I also need a garage fuel pump forecourt people to sponsor me so they can come and rip out all of our old fuel pumps that are no longer in use but you know wishful thinking So we just had another email back from a chap we saw last Monday, so a week ago. He was emailing in about his S1 on Cars Bought For More, so I've sent him an offer back saying I'll stretch it to 13.8, which would give us a potential two grand margin with a bit of a reserve, about 200 quid for any repairs that we need to do. So we might get that. And we were just discussing, Toby and I, we couldn't remember, or I couldn't remember, if it was a Quattro and it is, and it's a manual in a tiny little A1. That would be quite fun, I think. 230 PS, what's that in brake horsepower? It's like two something, isn't it? It's 200 and it's basically the same. But yeah, that'd be an interesting car, so cool if we get that. Right, so I'm just heading down the farm. I've got a couple of little errands to run down there, including grabbing the Daihatsu move and taking that home because Sophie has sold it it didn't go for the raffle. I know a lot of you did ask me to raffle off again, but there just wasn't enough interest, or uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe there's not enough subscribers to Shifting Metal at this point. That's not me feeling sorry for myself. I just think uh, to sell the value, to make it worthwhile, I actually lost money on doing that raffle. So um, that's fine because the money that I lost was the charitable donation. So I can afford a 200 odd pound charitable donation. It is absolutely worthwhile. Plus, you've got everyone from the Shifting Metal community involved in buying some raffle tickets, so that's great. I'm currently in the Mazda 6 that Adrian's been working on since uh, last week, doing the mammoth job of changing the turbo on this thing. Spent about 450 quid on the turbo, at least two days of labor, and a lower arm, which I can't remember exactly how much that was. Let's say 50 quid. So 500 quid on parts plus a couple hundred quid of labor. We paid 16.50 for this car in the first place. It easily owes me, you know, two and a half grand at this stage. Sophie's gonna have a go at selling this. You know, even if she gets, you know, even if it's three, let's hope she gets three and a half. I can't see why not. It's just got a new turbo and whatever. It's got MOT left on it. But if not, you know, 3,000, then at least we're making profit. It's better than making a loss. Right, so we have had Duncan here today, who should have been cutting in, looks like it, our sink. Lovely. I wonder if that's, is it plumbed up before I turn it on? It is. No water yet. I put my microwave up there. We've got our blinds up. Check that out. Looking pretty nice actually. So I put all the sockets on properly, put our HDMI sockets on. Duncan's obviously gone through the wall there to connect up but I think he got an emergency call out to a hospital that we uh, do work at. 
Oh, I've just noticed. So I sent Mark and my dad actually went off and got um, some worktop to use as my desktops. So there is my desk. There's the frame that I welded up quite crudely, probably. And that I asked them if they could router the edges off so that it didn't have like a sharp edge because on the bottom it's got quite a sharp edge and guarantee I would have injured myself on that. So that actually looks quite nice, I think. Then I've got some twin slot uh, shelving stuff to go on the back here. Also have my crankshaft, flywheel, clutch plate, coffee table in here as well, because there is going to be a sofa here. Quite happy with that. I've just finished welding up the uh, frame over here uh, today, which will make up a slightly longer desk, which will be for Toby slash Josh. Whoever is down here working. That's the sort of thing I've got to get off though. That bug the hell out of me. You can't have black racking and then leave white stickers on there. Right, that is it for Monday anyway. It's not really it for me because I've got to sort out horse stuff and Joey here has knocked over not one of his water containers, but both. So that means going and getting water for them. Rocky and Fergal also both need water and Maple is meant to be fenced off across there but clearly she's gone through that and now she's down the bottom there I don't know if you can even see her uh, so I need to round her up as well just what you want after a long day at work isn't it hey ho I think Sophie will be down here in a minute and she can give me a hand because why not they're her horses anyway I'll see you tomorrow Parcel has arrived. My new new camera, the ZV-1 that I actually wanted from, yeah, last week's vlog, you would have seen that in. Sent that one back. Don't hate me. It was a second hand thing, tried it. It definitely just wasn't gonna suit what I needed. So hopefully this one will. This one's actually a brand new one. Yeah, be interesting to see what this is like now because this one's got the bigger lens so I can actually do some kind of zoomy stuff. It is a bit of a trade-off because this one has got a much deeper zoom thing, but also it then means that it isn't quite as wide. So for talking to the camera, it's not as good, but I think this is probably the best one for me. So it's considerably heavier, probably because it's got a lot more glass in it. Look at that. It's quite nice, isn't it? Here's our dead cat, as they call it, for going on the top. That is what they call it, isn't it, Toby? Yeah. Strange name. It looks like a dead cat. What? A very small one. <laughs> you can also tell as well, considering this is brand new and the other one was second hand, which is why, you know, as much as I feel an idiot for having ordered it and normally feel very bad for sending stuff back, it was already second hand, so I hadn't taken anything from it. But you can tell this one's much mintier. English, please. Set area, date and time. Oh, I must. Ooh. Yeah, now we got loads more zoomage. In fact, let me check a card in here. Now we've got camera inception going on. That took quite a slow moving zoom, but I suppose maybe you can adjust that. Let's have a look, we fold this out. It's quite weird, that is it zoomed out to its most. But, you can still get yourself in it. Um, but that is gonna be much better because now I think I can get some more cinematic style shots. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're just Dicking touching around. lenses. Dicking. Right, quite happy with that. We'll try some more footage later on. Dead mouse. Dead mouse? It's called, a dead, it's called a dead cat. Is it? Yeah, we just had this discussion. And that, that would make more sense 
because I just said to Toby, who is the camera expert, obviously, I said, it is, it is called a dead cat, isn't it? He said, yeah, and he said, because it looks like a dead cat. I said, a small one? <laughs> a mouse would make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, look. My old Porsche is back. This is the one with the chap saying he wanted to reject it. There is some corrosion on the exhaust, apparently. Um, we will get that up in the air. And apparently a coolant leak. And now he's saying the air conditioning never worked. Well, it did, because this was my own personal car and I remember it working. And it was signed on the PDI as working, etc. It was ice cold, so I don't know what that's about. Obviously, he still hasn't changed the rear tyres. He hasn't brought the rear tyres that he also said were there either, so I don't think they existed. And he now wants me to sell it on his behalf. He wants us to fix the stuff and then sell it on his behalf to get rid of it. But... Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, nice of him to clean it before he brought it back. Something weird's been going on there. Uh, that is about, it's like polish remnants or something. But uh, yeah, looking pretty filthy. Same sort of story inside. I mean, I do love this car, to be honest. Uh, it'd be interesting to get on the ramp. But, yeah, just another one of those things to deal with now. I did just say, look, yeah, I will get it fixed up and then potentially we can get it sold for you, take some profit out of it. But, um, yeah, do I want to have the uh, warranty comebacks again if I now sell it on his behalf? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, I also noticed it's pretty nasty looking chips on the door edge there as well that was not there before but also the rear number plates changed as well because it's got a Ferrari Motors one on the front and now it's got Auto Care Amesbury on the back that isn't the plate that it would have gone out with so I don't know what's happened there Then, here he comes around this side. I'm going to get some pictures of this Volvo V90 now, and we might do a video of that. Uh, I need to get a video done for Thursday's slot, so I uh, might do that. Uh, I could do this GLC, because I'm probably going to send that to auction. Okay, so now... Toby is behind me getting some cinematic shots of that V90 cross country. I'm testing out my new camera that you're seeing me on now, seeing how that's working. It definitely does have to be a bit further away to get me in the shop still. Hopefully it's good quality. I think stabilization's not great on this though. Hey ho, uh, we're gonna go out and do that video. I've had a load of stuff turn up today for the container office, sofa, a couple of desk chairs, and I've welded up the other desk frame. Hopefully my dad's gonna come back over a bit later today with his van so that I can get that chucked in there and we can get things sorted out. Right, so quick container update. Uh, desk chair, desk frame, and sofa bed. Uh, oh, see so he's put in our little splash back as well. Very nice. Needs to seal it in by the looks of it. So, yeah, he's got some shelving up for me. Oh, has he oiled that, or is that just how it looks? Looks like he might have treated that, actually, which is nice. He hasn't fixed it down yet, though. But yeah, there's our shelving. So it looks like he sanded that back and maybe put a little treatment of something on there. If you haven't seen the previous videos, or I might have just said it, like, two minutes ago, as far as this video goes, I don't know. Obviously, they are the floorboards from Barra Motors. So, quite a cool little thing, I think. I've still got a drill through in order to put like the cable ports and everything. Toby's desk, you're gonna go over here. And yeah, I need to assemble this sofa and I need to assemble a couple of desk chairs. So I'm gonna crack on with doing that. Right, so that is that bit done. Uh, both desk chairs, 
That desk's in, but it's not finished. It still needs routing. I thought I'd bring it in, check it in, just to get an idea. Because you see, that's got the square edge on there. And I think somewhere on it, oh yeah, underside. So I've got it upside down as well. If you look at my desk, that has been done. It's got a nice little routed edge on it. So that I don't hurt my precious little skin. Uh, sofa in, so that's where that desk is gonna be uh, for Toby to work or Josh or whatever. We'll probably stick a printer in that corner as well. Here's my desk, obviously. Uh, I've just chucked a few things on the shelf. Uh, some old number plates uh, that I haven't got any cars at the minute. But uh, yeah, so this seat seems very upright at the minute. seem to be freeing the back. Let's try the other one. It just looks very upright. I guess they need a bit of working in, but so let's put it up. This one doesn't seem to want to well, kind of it will tip forward. Have I I've put these fucking things on back to front, haven't I? That's not how I showed it in the description. So, <laughs> what a massive twat. Check this out. I'm sat here wondering why they're so tilted forwards and why when I pull this out, they won't lean back. Because I put them on backwards and... <sighs> right, we'll sort that in a second. The other biggest issue, design flaw on my part, that you probably noticed in the time lapse. With that going, cooling the air in here a little bit, they are going absolutely ballistic. And I'm not the most patient of people in the world, even though a lot of you say in my videos, I seem like I'm very patient. Uh, I'm quite irritable. So those <coughs> rattling away all the time is gonna drive me mad. Looking good, I'm gonna flip these chairs around. I don't think there's really much else going on tonight. I might take a couple of pictures of a few cars I don't know if I've said this in previous uh, daily vlogs. I need to get some pictures so I can get them off to auction. Just clear up some space, clear up some cash, free up some cash, I should say. And yeah, that's it. But I'm going to leave it there. So I will see you tomorrow for Wednesday. Eight. I am heading in to Barrow Motors. Jason starts today, our new salesman. So I'm quite looking forward to that. There's going to be a lot to sort of teach him, not in the sense of how to do the job, but just how all our systems and everything work. And I'm hoping he will probably give us some tips, not tips necessarily, but have some fresh ideas on maybe different ways to do things. So a bit of getting him up to speed. Dan's on a half day because he's off in the afternoon. Jordan is our first thing delivering a car to Somerton, I believe. So he won't be there first thing. I think we might have Ethan. Depends on how he's feeling after his stag do in Benidorm. But I think he is in first thing. Uh, Toby will be getting on with editing a video that we filmed yesterday, ready for, to go out tomorrow. Uh, the Mercedes C-Class Cat S video went out last night. That's doing well. Thank you all for watching. I need to list a couple of those cars for sale to go to auction that I took pictures of at the farm yesterday. The only issue then is getting them to the auction centre so, depending on how we're doing for time, I might commandeer Toby and we can pop down there and just do a little ferry to and from the auction centre from the farm. It's only two cars, really. Yeah, other than that, I need to try and buy some cars, but I, I can't find much of interest going through the auctions at the moment. 
I've got more cars bought for more inquiries to get back to, but hopefully in the future, Jason can take over some of those. I have no idea what's going on in the workshop today. And I'd really like to hear back from the estate agents or solicitors or landlords or anyone about these new units. Just kind of get an update on how it's going. It can't surely take the solicitors that long to write up a lease. And yeah, it'd be good to know when we can get in there so I can start organizing equipment, etc., etc. So I think first step is just get a couple of ramps in there on the left hand unit and get a lot of the mechanical work done over there it will clear up some space at Barrow Motors give us more space to have more stock and yeah so I don't know what's happened because that just got like a little plastic hole thing and that obviously it's just broken so you have to weld it in Kind of set it on fire a little bit. So it is now 20 past one. I've got to go and pick up Josh from Hutton's Fiat because his job this morning hasn't gone quite to plan. He was collecting a transit connect or whatever they are, uh, transit something and he was going to put it on the trailer but it wouldn't quite fit so in order to get the job done the consummate professional that he is he uh, has left the Navara and the trailer wherever it was he was down in Devon somewhere and he's driven the transit back to deliver it to the customer which was Hutton's I assume and now I've got to go and pick him up so um, let's go and pick him up to you. I thought you want to pop in and say hi to our highest paying customers. Huh? I thought you want to pop in and say hello to our highest paying customers. Well I would have done. Um, Sorry. I just thought, oh well. Thanks for this mate, appreciate you. <clears throat> End of the day, heading down the farm. Uh, it's been a good day so far with Jason. New salesman starting. He seems to have just found his feet. He knows what he's doing. He's already spotted problems, getting price boards in cards, uh, cars, sorry that were missing price boards and information sheets, etc, etc. So he's just hopped straight on stuff doing that, straight on answering the phone, uh, dealing with issues, stuff like that. I haven't had to prompt him. So yeah, very confidence inspiring. Uh, it's good news for us, for sure, with this expansion going on, knowing that uh, there's an extra pair of hands there who is quite capable. I'm gonna pop down the farm. I'm going to clear some stuff out of the office at Barra Motors and dump it in the office at the farm. It's going to clear up some space for working at Barrow Motors, which is pretty tight. It's mainly stuff like camera equipment, etc, etc. While I'm down there, I took pictures of cars yesterday, but I forgot to get the accurate mileage off of them in order to send them to auction. So I'll do that while I'm down there. I might even sit down at my desk in my new office and get them listed to go to auction. And uh, yeah, we... Well, um, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. we we get that sorted. I've got the neighbor in the garage right up my ass. So I've done my bits of paperwork, etc. 
um, but I didn't show you anything to do with the container office. So let's have a quick look. Here is our little kitchenette area. Obviously, Mark had put the little splashback area in. Duncan has now come and plumbed it all up, so that's quite a neat little thing in there. Uh, and then in the office itself, I uh, just chucked a few more things on the shelf, not fully organised, but you know, looking better, isn't it? I sat there, did a watch through on a video that Toby's finished editing uh, earlier, that is going out tomorrow. Did some uh, listing of some cars ready to go to auction. Uh, Toby's area over here. All looking very good, so very happy. I am definitely going to book Monday to work down here. Just give a clear space to focus on the things I need to focus on. So that's it for Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm a lonely girl. Oh yeah. All right. Good morning, Thursday. It's five to nine. I'm running a bit late. It's actually six or seven to nine. Um, I can't even remember what's on the agenda today. I want to get a couple of cars over to auction. I've been banging on about it for ages, but I finally got them listed, updated, all that sort of stuff. So we just need to transport them across. Ethan is back from his Benadorm stag do. So we've got him available. We've obviously got Jordan. Uh, we've got Dan and Jason now, as well as Steph and Adrian and me and Toby. That's a lot of people, isn't it, in that little building? Want to make sure everything is up together, listed, etc. The whole forecourt needs a shuffle because everything's a bit of a mess. I'm going to go around check if there's anything else that I want to get sort of cleared off to auction. I might pop down the farm. I know I've got an old Lexus IS250 down there. We need to do some subframe bushes on it, etc., which I have bought. They're about 400 quid. But at this stage, I just can't see a way out of all of this work at the minute. Stupid, isn't it? Because we hired another mechanic. So we've got Adrian now, who's very good. Um, but we just kind of filled up with more customer work. That's not true because I've, I've, I've set our diary so that one of them can only work on our stuff and one of them can only work on customer stuff. But when you get a little emergency job that can squeeze in and then that little job gets a bit bigger than you expected or you get like a warranty type thing come back you need to do it, it you know it just we're over capacity again so um yeah we're not making the magnificent headway that i'd hoped we would or we started out doing a bit annoying but we will figure a way around it i'm gonna get rid of the worst of stuff that just frankly i don't know why i'm mucking around trying to save you know 1500 quid old lexuses and whatever I may as well just lose a couple hundred quid on them because you know we can easily make that couple hundred quid back on the next car deal so just get rid of the headache get the cash back in and put the cash into something that's actually gonna make us money and I'll probably keep preaching on like this and I guess I'm trying to give myself a lecture because I haven't actually got any of it done yet unfortunately up until this point when Jason started I've been busy answering phones and whatever else so uh, Now's my time to shine. So I'll see you at the garage, let's see what happens. Buried deep as our C1. Oh, it's right there, that's good. They come to collect it. Right, so I'm just hopping in a little C1 because BCA have turned up to collect it by the looks of it. Kind of, although we are 10 minutes up the road from BCA Bridgewater. I thought I'd just see out of curiosity, how long would it take them to come and collect? I think I put the request in on Monday and they're here now on the Thursday. So three days, obviously much quicker for us to take it down, although we are very short staffed at the moment. So not quicker in that regard. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna send this one off to auction because it's a great little car, but you probably saw me buying this at Aston Barkley, Westbury. No one's wanted it can't give it away dog dick red that's the problem I guess people don't necessarily want red cars these days I don't know but hey ho um, no sense worrying about it we'll just get it off and hopefully it sells for a semi reasonable price probably won't get all my money back but hey ho we had a crack at it you can't uh, can't give yourself a hard time for trying something so we'll move on to the next one Our driver is a little concerned about whether he can turn around around the triangle so he's taking the C1 to uh, 
drive around it, see what he thinks. Right, so it is about half past four on Thursday today, isn't it? Uh, so I've decided I'd just head home because I was feeling uh, a little bit tired and just kind of energy was fading, to be honest. We've now got Jason and Dan there to handle things, so there should really be no need for me to be there. So I thought I may as well get home. I know that I've got to do some kind of editing, watch throughs and stuff of the weekly vlog that will go out on Saturday so the sooner I get on top of that and give Toby the final bits to deal with the better had a interview slash as I always do kind of like an informal chat with someone for another job today that was a chap called Macaulay not McCorkin or Corkin Macaulay Corkin not Corkin not home alone guy um, but someone that Josh used to work with this is someone that Josh preferred for this role, we did have someone else send us a message, and he is a firm second favourite. The rate right things are going with uh, transport. If we're lucky, we will be looking for a second person in the near future anyway. So uh, that all went well. Seemed like a nice guy. Seemed like he would be a good fit for the role. So Josh is going to give him the good news a bit later on. Uh, unfortunately, he's got a month's notice to give. Uh, I might tell Josh to kind of say that if there is an opportunity to do a short one, then why not? Because we do need it. Josh is already busy. For example, like today, I have bought two cars from auction. They're only up in Bristol. A nice Scirocco and a Tiguan, both of which obviously need collecting. I don't want to get into the realms of paying for deliveries again when we've got our own transport company arm of the business now. Uh, but Josh is so busy for tomorrow, he's kind of like double booked himself that he's also roping in Ethan to do a full day of driving tomorrow. Um, you know, it's well worth doing, it's it's a thousand pounds worth of turnover tomorrow in transport alone. So, you know, it pays, but it, it we don't want to be robbing Peter to pay Paul. We need to be having enough people to cope with the demand. We don't want to be overstaffed, but we do need enough people there to do that sort of stuff. I'm enjoying driving this Volvo V90 cross country at the moment while it's still got practically a quarter of a tank of fuel. Uh, in fact the video for this is going out tonight. Though we've done another good edit so that is going out at seven. Yeah do you know that feeling when you are incredibly busy preparing for say like an event a party or something if you're a parent you're preparing for your kids party or whatever and when it actually comes around and it's time to enjoy it you're absolutely exhausted or when you're going away on holiday you're really busy getting everything sorted by the time you get ready to go away that when you actually get on the holiday you just kind of collapse you have this slump of energy that's kind of how i feel now i think that jason started again taking some of the pressure off of me which is mainly just answering the phones. I haven't got to keep answering the phones. I am able to confidently just ignore the emails now because two people are now tasked with taking care of that. And that is just a load off my plate. The downside is that I feel like I've just crashed and I'm not really focused and I haven't adjusted to what I need to be doing now, which is promotion, kind of uh, planning, for new things that are happening. Um, I need to get more uniforms, I need to work on logos for the new business, etc, etc. It will all come, and I have been working for it slowly, but I'm not laser focused on it like I usually am and like I like to be. So I'm sure that will come in time, but hence why I thought, you know what, I may as well just head home early today because I ain't much used to anyone at the minute and I may as well get home, do some video editing, something that I enjoy doing, and just try and relax, because you could beat yourself up, and like I have done in the past, kind of force yourself to be like, no, you need to be more productive, just get on with it, get on with it, you know, don't be a useless, lazy git, or whatever. This is like my internal voice that speaks to me. Um, through experience, I've learned that if you know you're flagging, and you're just not, you're just not at your potential, you probably need to just, be kind to yourself, let yourself relax a little bit, just take the pressure off, get that rest and relaxation that you need, and come back tomorrow and 
in an hour in the morning tomorrow, I will probably do more work, more progress will happen than in the last four hours of today, just because I'm that much more kind of focused, rested and ready. So with that said, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get myself a nice drink, I'm gonna get my shoes off, and I'm gonna sit there, chill out, and try and do some editing. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning, Friday. It is quarter to nine. I'm certainly not ahead of the game this morning. Uh, today, I'm struggling to remember what's going on. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing. Well, I know I'm gonna be doing some watch-throughs and maybe a bit of editing with Toby first thing in the morning so that we can get uh, the weekly video that's going out tomorrow on Saturday, boxed off, done, talk to him about a thumbnail, get him setting off doing that. He needs to do a little bit of adding in some annotations and music, etc. So that'll be Toby sorted. Josh is off all day on a big long driving job. He's also roped in Ethan all day as well. So we won't have Ethan, it's just gonna be me, Dan, Jason, Jordan, and obviously the workshop boys. Def is still working on a timing chain on a, an S Max, customer's S Max. That's all a bit weird. They've asked us to do the timing, um, but the timing chain isn't slack, but it is 180 out. But supposedly it's been like that for two years. So you even got wet silicone and whatever. So this is a case where someone else has been in there fiddling around and then couldn't get it to run right, probably because it's quite easy to get those Ford engines 180 out by the sounds of it. And now they're asking us to do it. So we are cautious here because it's a 1200 pound bill and at the end of it, it might still have bent valves and stuff like that. So not ideal. Uh, Adrian, I don't know what he's on today, but I imagine servicing, MOTs, stuff like that. Dan and Jason should be on sales stuff. I might get Jason to list a couple of cars with the auction listing pictures that we've got because, as I say, I bought a Tiguan and a Scirocco. I'm not going to get a chance to pick those up today. We haven't even got a truck now because Ethan's using that and Josh is off. So uh, I did kind of lie in bed last night looking to see if we could buy another Oviko recovery truck. Not that I've exactly got tons of cash kicking around at the minute, especially with you know new expansions coming up but these must these are the things you have to find creative solutions for so maybe when i get in i'll check the diary see if we can't get someone like jordan or yeah after jordan i guess or, or myself to go off tomorrow and pick up the two cars from bristol the video on this v90 went out last night and that's doing really well before i left the house it was on about six thousand views since seven o'clock last night which to some is obviously not a lot, but to us that's pretty awesome and really appreciate everybody watching. But maybe we should do a video on say the GLC or something along those lines. Something a bit more pricey, sorted, low mileage, that sort of thing that we've got in stock. We'll give it a whirl. I will see you back at the garage. Right, so forecourt is actually starting to look a little more bare. Uh, I need to get some more stock in really. To be fair, Jason and Dan have been out together shuffling the forecourt around, which is excellent because, uh, again, just keeping on top of it, keeping organised, I know exactly how much I need to buy in, etc. Jason and I think possibly Dan together on the Panda sold that. The Nissan sold, Dan sold that. Dan sold the Focus ST3. Someone sold the Kia Seed, I can't remember who. Uh, obviously we got the Porsche 911 here, uh, which we will look at next week. No rush to do that. We are, we've got a pretty full diary as it is before we start getting into stuff that's been dumped on us. Toby took this um, nice little Megan home last night that we bought from a car's bought for more customer. Strangely, he had a couple of issues with trying to start it both last night and tonight. Uh, and today sorry could be battery in the key related or perhaps we need to use a different fob don't know but we'll look into that jason's just sold this one actually as well so we could do with kind of having a bit of a sort up up there getting that up into sold corner and shuffling that along jason's also taking it upon himself so could we start opening up the boots keep everything fresh and aerated but again something which uh, I like the idea of, but never really got around to doing it, certainly not me, because um, again, just doing 101 things, so that doesn't usually happen. Let's go around to the workshop and see what's happening around there. Jordan has just given this A1 a quick wash, some of you will remember that from the Aston Barkley video. Uh, that was the car that came back and it had a leak from the DSG gearbox, which we tapped out, or extracted a bolt 
retapped it, put a new bolt in to pull it all tight, the mechatronics unit, onto the DSG box. But it, alas, it still leaks, much less than it did before. It's now just a little drip when before it was a bit of a trickle. Uh, we can't get booked in anywhere until about the 20th of next month. So over a month away, um, which we've done. The chap's going to come pick it up, drive it around in the meantime, because it's not leaking that badly. But of course, we do want to get it fixed properly. So it's about the only option we have. We've tried to find another garage local to the customer who had time, but they had kind of less availability than even our local garage did. Not an ideal scenario, because we are going to have to go from here to around about Westbury again to collect this from the customer the day before the um, appointment, get it into them. They'll take the mechatronics unit off, reseal it properly, read it all there. It's going to cost us about 500 quid, but you have to treat your customers right. So that is what we're going to do. You can't just turn your back on your customers once you've got your money out of them, can you? Good news is we are actually clearing some space out here. We're waiting on front deed bushes for that. As soon as that's done, that is ready. It probably end up going down to the farm now, maybe. This stuff did a timing chain on, but it's still got a bit of a tapsy engine, which is annoying. Obviously Dan's car, which is probably growing all kinds of mold and whatever, and all the weeds are growing around it whether he's actually ever going to do anything with this now, especially now that he's bought himself the uh, cube. I don't know, but as things progress, this is going to have to be moved. Here is what is left of the engine, which has been held up by a seatbelt or ratchet strap or something. Obviously, he needs to get on and do something with that, really. But if he's not going to, then we will just put it on the truck and get it down the farm out of the way because we need this space, really. And then we've got Kia here, which is a little project which is going to be a long-term project because I need to do some bodywork stuff on it, which I haven't had a chance to do yet. In fact, I might phone around a few places now, see if I can't get that booked in because um, that would be a decent little car once it's done. It doesn't owe us a lot of money at the moment. There could be a really decent margin in it, despite it having some pretty gruesome bodywork. Steph's done the timing chain on this now, which was the one that I was talking about where it was about 180 degrees out and had wet sealant and everything all around everything, despite them saying it hasn't been touched. No one's looked at it recently and it's always driven the same for the last two years. No, it hasn't. Got some paint turning up, touch up pen or something. And now Steph's moved on to doing a cam belt and water pump on this S-Max, lucky guy. And Adrian's doing something on the wind by the looks of it. What is it you're doing on the wind? Uh, service PDI. Ah. Sales prep stuff, so service and PDI on this bad boy. Filling a scratch, yeah? Yes. Is well, it is this like a single stage colour or something? Probably not. It is obviously you've got your base coat, your primer, and then there will be the colour and the lacquer. The so you've got a touch up pen, which is you filled into the into the scratch, yeah. you're then gonna sand back, are you? Yeah. Or so scraping back currently. Scraping back, because I've tried to just build it up as much as I can instead of being there like constantly, just blob a bit on. Scrape it kind of flush with the car. Scrape back all the excess, and then sand it, then sand it then again. Then polish it. And then polish it. So if we come back here in what, like 15 minutes? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I'm quick, not that quick. I've heard that story actually. Oh, yeah. Well, have quick, quick Jordan, they say. Yeah. And what's this? It's a special little tool, isn't it? Because it's. This is technically a de nibbing tool for fresh paint, and you get all your little bits of dirt that land in the paint, you get little like pinpricks and stuff. Uh, you knock them out with that and then sand it. But it looks hideous. So it does. It does. We'll uh, see, uh, see what happens when you're actually done with it. How's the scratch look at the other side now? Considering you're saying, well, 
I mean, I can definitely feel it over here. I can feel it on both sides. Just trying to decide if this here is glass or stone. Either way, you don't want it in your beef chili cheese fries with paprika chips, do you? I was just eating this and I felt a big crunch. Oh God, I must have got a bit of bone or gristle or something and I crunched a tooth. But no, it was this glass. I'm fairly certain that is glass. Either way, I think it's probably come from like a potato or something, but it does somewhat put you off your food, doesn't it? So I was sending them an email and probably this remainder of a meal back to them so they can check it out because it's not very good is it god knows what i have swallowed okay so end of the day i'm actually now as you can probably see in the container office i come down here after work i had to sort out ponies and stuff for sophie but i also thought i'd sit here and do some watch throughs so you are now seeing the bit that you've probably just seen that Clip up there is Thursday, so yesterday. Today is Friday. Here I am, finishing up. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, so it would be nice to have Jason and Dan in tomorrow on sales, plus we'll have Jordan doing uh, valeting, helping out, etc. I've just done a quick uh, watch through of uh, all the days so far this week because Toby is up to date, other than today, obviously. He has edited everything together. So generally what we're trying to do now is Toby edits them together because he has a very nice editing style that I like. And then I cut out all the rubbish basically because there's a lot of me just waffling, probably like I am now. So yes, that is it for me for today really. Back in tomorrow, that'll be our last day again. Uh, I think it's been a fairly decent week. Uh, even better one next week. Jason's coming up with loads of stuff that is helping us probably with admin, stuff like that. As always, there's loads of stuff for me to organize and sort out, but that's what I like to do. So try and get a nice chill night again tonight and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Saturday. It's 20 past nine. Poor Jason, who has come in for his first Saturday, turned up at work at nine o'clock in this horrible weather. So he's had to shoot off, go and get himself a cost of coffee or something. And I said I would be in for half nine to ten minutes, which should be fine. Uh, I need to get him a key cut. But he only started three days ago, so uh, I haven't had a chance just yet. I don't think there's a huge amount on the agenda for today. Obviously, Toby and I have got a video going out later. That's now been fully rendered, sorted out, uploaded. And there's a bit of a battle between the two thumbnails. Toby's done a thumbnail with Dan is setting fire to a tire trying to get it to pop the bead with a massive flame but it's massively overexposed because it's super bright. I've got one that's less but it's less dramatic. We'll see who wins. That's going out later. I don't know if we've got any handovers or anything today. I don't think so so I don't think there's loads going on. We'll try and get Jordan cleaning up a couple more bits. Um, still got these two cars in Bristol that I need to arrange a collection, so I'm going to look at logistics for that and figure out what we can do next week. Because without a truck free, we might again, so we'll probably have the truck free on Monday, fingers crossed, unless Josh is doing a double load. If we do, then someone like Ethan or Jordan can just do a couple of runs up to Bristol, get these two cars and then we can get those cleaned properly, listed, etc, etc. Hopefully after a little bit of guidance and whatever yesterday, Jason should now be able to clear any backlog of the last couple of days of cars bought for more, so that's something off of my plate, so we can get back to those. He was in talks with someone yesterday for a Porsche Cayman, which you would think I'd run a mile from, considering we've had one on the ramp for about six months. But that one is nearing completion, and as long as this other one doesn't smoke on startup, then, you know, I really like them, I rate them, and should be a half decent little seller with a decent margin, because it is risky. But I don't mind taking a little risk. It doesn't always pay off, but when it does, it pays off well. So, uh, I'm interested to see if we get that today. And, 
Yeah, and realistically, I need to see if I can find another recovery truck. I assume it probably makes more sense to try and get another Iveco daily, auto, so that if we do have a couple or three of them on the road, then we can keep a pool of parts that should fit all of them, servicing parts, um, spare wheels, tires, things like that. So, might have a look around for that, but who knows? All of that could go out the window. It could be a dramatically busy day for viewings. I doubt it due to the weather, but sometimes you can't guess. If people can't go anywhere else, they'll go and look at a car. So we'll see. I'll see you at the garage. Oh, that's the washer jet for the headlights. Indeed. I see. Is it not worth like bunging it off with something? I'm just trying to think what could actually be used. Oh. You only need something tiny. Could you bung your dick in there, or...? <laughs> no, but what about just like the finger off a rubber glove? Just tie the finger around it or something, or...? Mm. <laughs> he was just wasting all of my screen wash. <laughs> Not to say that I'm tight or anything, but wait, no, how tight you are. <laughs> it should be a lesson for you, Jordan. You don't make money by pissing it on the floor, <laughs> which is literally what you do, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Depending on what you've been up to at the weekends, just slightly varying different degrees of spiciness of piss. Spiciness. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today you join me in this very nice 2016 Mercedes GLC. Right there. Toby set up my camera for me because I couldn't do it and I think I had a filter on that was like a... What was it? A smooth skin filter, which I definitely don't have smooth skin. Look at that. Pause like the crater of the moon. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that set up. So hopefully I should look better now. Uh, I've had some important documents today. A, lease documents from my solicitor. So I'm getting that sorted and I will drop that into them on Monday along with my ID, etc. We also had a speeding fine for a little Josh when he was in Wales collecting a Porsche, I believe, 57 in, I assume, a 50, which is a bugger, but hey-ho, these things happen. Right, so end of day, Saturday, uh, that's the end of the week. I am in the container office. I'm going to go through and uh, sort through some editing clips. I think Sophie's got someone wanting to view the Audi A5 at home later, so I'm going to take that from here to home. Tomorrow I'll come in and I need to get a couple of pictures up on the wall. I've got some prints of like our uh, Honda Civic track car. It's going to go up on the wall. That'd be quite cool. I've got a whiteboard over there for Toby and his section and whoever really for keeping notes and stuff. There's a few things I need to get ordered. What on earth kind of bug is that? That would look like a tick for a minute, but it's just a funky fly thing. And I might also try and get some CCTV set up in here over the weekend, tomorrow, Sunday. Um, yeah, that's it. Battery died. Uh, yeah, another busy week. Hopefully next week will be good. We're starting out with collecting cars, etc. Oh yeah, check out my fancy new mouse mats that I've got for Toby and I. What a good boss I am. If you're enjoying these weekly vlogs, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really help out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another one coming out every Saturday and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, 
and I'll see you next time.